harvesting some of the last of the lettuce. If it hasn't rained, I generally water at about 6 o'clock at night. For the larger 3 foot by 7 foot beds, I'll do about 3 jugs worth of water. And for the containers in front of the garage, I use about 2 jugs. And I bring them inside. I like to put them on this little tray, let them dry out and cure. They're ready to eat in just a few days. You can tell when they're really ripe, when it's a nice yellow color. Mmm, it's so tasty good. Mmm. Tastes like sweet cream strawberry ice cream. Mmm. I use some of this macadamia nut oil with a basting brush, an oil, a frying pan. Kind of top the eggplants with a little bit more oil and then sprinkle some salt. Cover the pan and it's on low heat. And after about 10 minutes, I use these plastic things to flip everything over. And then I'll cover it back up. I'll let it cook for about five more minutes and then shut it off and I'll let it sit for a few more minutes as it cools down and simmers in the pan. 
Mmm, yummy, yummy. Fried eggplant slices. Mmm, that's so good. Pick a basil leaf. Add one hot pepper and a little bit of water. Some salt, some pepper, half a tablespoon of avocado oil. Sprinkle some of the chopped basil on top. The most delicious tomato soup. Getting close to harvesting all of the kale seeds. There must be a thousand seeds in there. Now put this in the refrigerator and it'll last for 15 or 20 years. The Japanese beetles are in full effect on the grapevines. So what I do is I shake the vines, usually about once a day, just to try to deter them from munching them totally up. 